What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech. Today we're just going to take a look at DeX with the One UI update. Now I just did a video on my Samsung Tab S4 getting the UI update and I just wanted to do another video for DeX because a lot of you are asking me. So I figured why not? Let me show you what's changed, what's different. And overall it's just a visual overhaul. There hasn't been really that much that's been changed. So if you want to see my initial thoughts on DeX, this is the video. And if you want to pick yourself up a pretty cool USB hub that's not going to break the bank, like the official Samsung DeX pad will, check out this link down below as well. Let's start off by looking at DeX guys. Now the bottom toolbar has been redesigned and it's a more clean, more modern looking refresh. And I really like the way it looks guys, but on the bottom here you have this little panel that says DeX and this is where you can exit it, you can lock it. So if you leave your desk and you leave your tablet connected, just hit that lock button so no one can use it. Dex Labs is a little bit of a uh, letdown, guys. There hasn't really been that much that Samsung's been pushed out in terms of the labs, in terms of the experimental features. But these two are still here, so nothing new with the Dex Labs, unfortunately. You have a little how to use tab. You have some notices here. And then you have the contact us. That's something new. I guess if you want to reach out to Samsung and ask them what's going on, you can. This is your app drawer, so if you open this up, you'll be displayed with all of your apps and you can scroll through them. And it's just a nice clean looking layout with a new, new design for the icons. This is where you actually go to your recents tab, and I think this is a really nicely done recents tab. Well done for this, it's very fluid, very, very fast, no issues with the recents tab. And it looks pretty cool, and of course from in here what you can do, you can just go out and click out one and then you'll open up another one. You can only display eight at a time. So once you click one out, another one will appear from your list down here. This is your home button. So that's a little bring me back to home really quickly if you want to. Just press that and you go back to home. This is your back button. Next, right in between these two toolbars, you do have all your open apps right here. So I have Chrome open. I also have Excel open for the purposes of this video. This is the game launcher, what I'll get into in a second. So you just have a nice visual representation of what's open and what's closed. And again, just to go home, press that home button, pretty simple. Looking at the toolbar here, you can expand it or contract it just like so. So on the first little toolbar here, this is actually everything that you'd see in your notification panel. So you see that I have this little app running. I have SwiftKey telling me something. I have TourGuard here, which is not connected. And these are actionable, so if you click on them, you can actually see what's going on and you can take some actions if you want to. And this one here will actually show you all your notifications. So this is actually like your drop-down notification tab on your device, on your phone. So that's pretty much something we've become accustomed to, just swiping down on the screen. But in this case, just tap right over here on this contextual button and that'll bring up all your notifications from that notification shade. And these are also actionable, so you can close out the notifications as you would just swiping on your phone or your tablet. Next one here is your connectivity. So I have Bluetooth, I have my Wi-Fi, I have my battery level. And then if you click over here, you actually get quick toggles that you can just also take action upon. So if you wanna put it on airplane mode quickly, you can. If you wanna turn on or off night mode, just like so, you can do that. As well as your settings tab. And going into the settings tab, is pretty much the same thing guys. You only have a few options here. You have some Samsung DeX settings and this is basically it. Just take a look here. Nothing really out of the ordinary guys. Pretty much, pretty simple. You can change your resolution if you wanted to. Again, that depends on what you're connected to, what monitor you have connected to it. And then you have some other options, auto start when HDMI is connected. So overall, pretty simple in terms of what the settings gives us. The next little toolbar that we have here, guys, you have quick access to your Samsung DeX Lab. You have quick access to your keyboard. You have quick access to your sounds panel. You can also take a quick screenshot and you can then just share it very quickly or you can edit it or you can write on it. So if you wanted to take a quick note, you could just do so from here. Let me just write hi. What do you think about that? And then you can save it or just get rid of it. And then of course, there's your date. So this is overall a nice just redesign in terms of DeX. Now let's get into the game mode. Games do work in DeX mode and the game mode is redesigned and I think it looks really nice. I think this is a nicely done job. Really gives you a highlight of what games are DeX compatible. So you can see a list right over here. And then you can also see what you recently played. And then it gives you some more options. Super fun, guaranteed. 
immersive, blah, blah, blah. So there's really a ton of games here. So let me just open up a game just to kind of show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to open up Asphalt. So I think it looks pretty good. No issues with this. Again, I'm not a super gamer, so you guys who game on the regular can probably tell me a little bit more. But for the casual gamer, this works just fine. I have no issues with using this in dex mode. No problem whatsoever. Netflix also works perfectly. So let me just play a little something pretty quickly. No issues with Netflix on Dex in full mode. You can also text on WhatsApp. So if you get a notification from WhatsApp, you can reply back. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you. I mean, it's a nice layout. It looks pretty good. I like it. And like I said, I've been, I've been using Dex a lot more, guys. And this update really makes it a little bit more visually pleasing. I'm definitely liking Samsung support. Although I wish we'd get a little bit more from Dex Labs. Give us some pretty cool experimental features, but that's just my thought. What do you guys think? Anyway, I hope this has helped you. I hope you kind of understand Dex, the One UI update. It's just an overall pleasing update. It just makes it look a little bit nicer and a little bit easier to get around. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.